Hey guys, good afternoon, it's Callie. Today I'm going to be showing you my contribution to the Creative Arts collaboration through the Looking Glass Crawl. And I am super excited to be showing you what I've made here. I hope you're interested in sticking around. I was so honored to be asked to be a part of this collaboration. I was very, very nervous. Actually, the caliber of artists and people that are involved here is amazing and is comprised of some people that I really, really look up to. So please, please, please make sure you check out everyone's contribution. I'll put the playlist in the bottom in the description, as well as an iCAD card above. And I hope you check them out and give everybody a thumbs up and show some love. So I was asked, uh, there were a few choices to choose from and the White Rabbit being one of them. And the White Rabbit uh, in Alice in Wonderland, as well as musically in my life, has played a very important part. And I was super excited to, uh, to show you what I could do here. Now, I didn't know where I was going to go, and I'll, I decided to jump feet first down the rabbit hole and take you through the looking glass with me and the white rabbit. And this is what I did. And it's an assemblage collage. And I made it in this shadow box with the contents of my junk drawer and some recycled items from the auction, as well as uh, polymer clay for Mr. Rabbit himself. So if you guys are interested in checking out how I did this, please stick around. I love this now. Uh, I went from not knowing at all what I was going to come up with to something that I really will treasure. And I need to apologize for the beginning of the tutorial. I had initially filmed it on a webcam and there was no audio. So I had to cut just the first few minutes where you see me showing you the shadow box. So without further ado, I'm going to jump into the tutorial now and I hope you stick around. And like I said, check out everybody else and show some love. And I'll see you guys in a minute. Okay, guys, I apologize for jumping in here after I've already started, but I'll do a little intro at the beginning of the video explaining why uh, until I get my webcam mic difficulties worked out. The, the audio was so poor when I recorded this previously. There's just no way that I could post it. So I'm going to carry on using my handy-dandy phone cam for now. And uh, we'll work out the technical difficulties this week. But I didn't want to delay any more filming. So basically what I did here was I took a shadow box that I had gotten at my local auction in a dollar box lot. It's 14 by 14. It was just plain light wood with a glass front. I removed the front. I've put two coats of gesso on the box now. And also what I did was I got at the auction a clock and I took the clock face off with the use, uh, you know, the help of my heat gun. And I was able to strip it off and I saved the gears and the hands and all that stuff. And I'm going to be placing this clock face some point on the box here. I'm not sure where, but when I decide where I'm going to do it, I'll pencil around it and then just work around that because I'm going to be collaging and adding a lot of different elements that I don't want on the clock face. What I do want on the clock face as we're adding things, I'll put the hands back on, but I've pulled out my polymer clay and the star of the show is the white rabbit and I've decided to do him in polymer and after I bake him, he's on glass now because he's about to go into the oven, uh, after I bake him he is going to be resting on this clock face. He also is holding a pocket watch that I made out of a uh, watch that I got at the auction and I just covered it in polymer clay and if you could see it's actually ticking right now. We'll see if it makes it through the baking process. But his whole body is just clay and his jacket. Um, I've put some mica powder on him. 
I tried to texturize him a little bit, just roughed him up with some of my tools. And I'm about to bake him, clock and all, in the oven. And I will see you guys back here for the next step. Okay, guys, so while the rabbit is in the oven, we are, I just put this down. I took a pencil and traced around it. I figured I'll just go dead center. I kind of played around with moving it, but eh. I'm going to heat up my glue gun, and I'm going to use a combination of the hot glue gun some E6000 probably, and tacky glue if I need it. I have a couple of bags of random scraps. This is gauze pieces and like cheesecloth. You know, just like old bandages. Not used, of course. <laughs> and uh, this bag is just scraps, but I have some cardboard pieces, some lace, onion bags, anything with texture, drywall tape. Uh, take a look around, see what you have. And what I'll be doing is I'll be hot gluing and otherwise putting these texture pieces all around, uh, even maybe on the sides, I'm not really sure, just to kind of build up our background because we're going to be collaging uh, all kinds of stuff on top of it too. So that's where we're at. I'll see you back here when I have those background pieces hot glued down. Give me just a second. Okay, here's where we're at. I just took my handy dandy glue gun and went around and very randomly, again, you guys, I never know what I'm doing. I really don't. And as you could tell, and I just, you know, these are some gauze squares, some pieces of black lace, some torn cardboard, and this was some drywall repair kit. So I hot glued those down, burned my fingers a few times, and Mr. Rabbit is out of the oven now, and he's looking really good, and can you believe it? This thing takes a licking and keeps on ticking, you guys. It is still going. Um, I don't know if you could see that, but I am vouching for it that it is still ticking. So, uh, yeah, pretty amazing. So anyway, I'm going to let him cool off, and when he's done, I'm going to give him a coat of black acrylic paint and just kind of wipe it off to just age it a little bit. You know what, you guys, as I'm looking at this clock, it's stopped now. Okay, so anyway, uh, what are you going to do? Didn't make it through the, <laughs> through the oven. So he's done, and I am going to, like I said, age him, and then we're just going to start gluing down some collage items, and I'll come back and show you basically what I'm going to pull out of my junk drawer. So I'll see you in just a minute. Okay, guys, here's where we're at. I put the black acrylic paint on Mr. Rabbit, and I'll be highlighting him later and stuff like that. So he's a little dark now, but I haven't glued anything down yet. But I thought I was going to wait, and I figured I would go ahead and glue this down now. And I'm going to position him. And then later on when I'm painting and things, I have this lid that was a cookie tin. And it will fit over that perfectly so I can splatter and spray and not worry about getting anything on the rabbit. Then I went into my junk drawer, you guys, and there's so much stuff I have in this bowl right now. I may use all of it. I might just use some of it. I mean, we have everything. There's gears and jacks and buttons and mirrors and bottle caps, old figurines, old dried flowers, fuses, dominoes, compasses, spectacles, pendulums, skeletons, polymer clay tiles, parts from this, I think, came from a clock. Just you name it, old jewelry magnets so the idea is I have a bag of beads here as well and I'm going to use my glue gun again and we are going to just randomly place items all around the collage the collage all around the canvas and I'm gonna glue things down fill up things and then 
when all that's down, we're going to lay down yet another coat of gesso, but I'm getting ahead of myself. So it's going to take me a few hours probably to really get this all together. But when I do, I will be back to show you where our next step will be. Okay, so just give me a few minutes. Well, alrighty. This took me about two hours, I want to say. And when do you know when you're done? You know, I once again covered up all that background. I don't even know why I put so much care into putting down a background, but it is what it is. There are some of the pieces peeking through, so there is a lot going on here, folks. I used gears and buttons and scissors and fuses and you see it, compasses and body parts and ballerinas and magnets and it's just there's so much to look at and this really it, there's a childlike sense of wonder here which is perfect for our subject matter and I'm I'm liking where this is going you guys so I am now going to like I said I'll be and I used hot glue to put it down and you know if you look really close there's still a lot of strings and things but we're just going to incorporate them I will be covering this up a bit and using my uh, gesso to just cover everything up now. All this color will turn to white again with the exception of this guy. And I'm kind of thinking to, to use some distress stain on the clock. It's a little too white for me right now, but I'm going to see what it looks like after everything gets covered up. So. We'll cover it up with some gesso, and then uh, after that, I'm either going to go in with paint or spray inks. And I'm really kind of leaning towards spray inks. Most of these collages that I do, I do in a steampunk kind of a way where there's a lot of browns and rusts and black and gold. I don't know if I want to do that. I may take this more into a purple, blue, silver kind of scenario but we'll see i'm just gonna let my muse guide me here and i'm gonna follow the rabbit down the hole and i'll be back when this is all gessoed Okay, guys, you can see I put the gesso down and there were a few spots that just the paint came through. This one particular, I went over a few times and I just couldn't cover it. So I let it be. And I decided to do this background here. I just took some of these Tim Holtz Distress Stain. I did vintage photo as well as Broken China on a makeup sponge and I just kind of dabbed it around. I just wanted to age it and make it look a little different. So our next step is I'm going to give these uh, DecoArt Shimmer Shimmer Misters a shot. And I'm like I said, I'll use this tin to cover up our focal point. And I'm going to just use the Shimmer Misters all around to paint up our stuff. And I may do some spatters of white on top. I have the pur uh, purple, turquoise, mm, violet, primary cyan. I'm not sure if I'm going to use all of these, but uh, primary magenta. And I have carbon black. So we'll see. I'm going to do a combination of those. Uh, in here, I don't know what I'm going to do on the outside yet. If anything, I may just, you know, paint it black. But, so, I'll see you back here when that's done in just a minute.
Hey guys, good morning. I've let this dry overnight and I'm really excited about the way this is coming together. I used a combination of every mister I had and when I was happy with the way that it looked, I just went ahead and did some splatters of the white on top. The next step that I'm going to do is we're going to do some highlighting and I'm going to do a combination of my antique gold rub and buff and I also have some DecoArt Metallic Luster and Silver Spark. I'm going to use my finger or a little makeup sponge and I'm just going to highlight areas around to kind of bring out textures and really make things pop. So as soon as I'm done doing that, I'll see you back here and we'll start thinking about what we're going to do outside the box. See you in a minute. Okay guys, I'm done with the rub and buff and just remember a little goes a long way so I really didn't have to use a lot each time and I had to really stop myself because I definitely can get carried away. <laughs> I mostly used the gold but I did do some of the silver spark especially on Mr. Rabbit himself. So I'm done with that and you guys, the only next step is, oh and by the way, the glass that I had to cover this which would have been perfect through the looking glass, uh, I backed into it and it broke. So that wasn't meant to be. Uh, I like it open this way anyway. It's, it's a little more inviting. So the next step, you guys, is to do the outside edges. And I think that this inner edge here, I'm going to do black just to frame it. And I may edge that with some silver. I will be using all deco art paint um, and then the actual edges of the box themselves, I thought that I would use some of these uh, Americana acrylics, and I also have some multi-surface satin. I have True Blue, Iris, and Eggplant here. And I'm just going to take, I have some old sponges that I've cut up, and I'm going to just sponge around randomly just to mix it up and then when that dries I may go over it with white but I'll show you how it looks when I get to that point okay and then when that dried I kind of thought well you know what I'll tell you when we get there so right now we're just gonna paint around the edges and I'll see you when that's done you guys Woo. okay guys I'm back with an update and, you know, I was sitting here doing this painting, and I decided, oh, man, I have some Scrabble tiles. So I went and I got them, and sure enough, I was able to write out Go Ask Alice, which is a line from the song White Rabbit, written by Gray Slick for Jefferson Airplane. When I was first asked to be in this collaboration and the White Rabbit was available, of course I had to take it because I love that song. It's been near and dear to my heart for many years. And I actually had printed out some of the sheet music thinking that I might use it in the collage, but I didn't, but I was in fact able to incorporate a lyric. So I am so happy about that. And as far as the edges go, all I did was use this um, Americana True Blue by Deco Art, and I decided to just do the one color against the primer. The blue looks really cool, I think. And um, I use the Silver Edge, which needs a second coat, is the Elegant Finish by Decor in Shimmering Silver. So I'm going to do one more coat of that. And then on this inside edge here, I'm just going to use some um, black, straight up black. I'll probably do two coats of that as well. And then all we need left to do, you guys, is put a coat of sealer on this and it's going to be done. And I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I hope you guys like it too. Uh, I hope this is inspiring to you, and uh, yeah, so I'll see you back here when we're ready to wrap it up. Okay, guys, with most of my projects, things change along the way, and this was no exception. So I showed you before that I had done the edges with just the blue paint. 
Well, once I put the black on the inner edge, I decided that I wanted to do, and this was the Americana uh, lamp black. Uh, I decided I wanted to do the outside edge as well. And I really like it because there's enough busyness going on here. And it just, I don't know, I think this ties it together well. So I did another coat of the silver acry acrylic paint as well. And the only thing left to do, you guys, is to lay down a coat of glaze. And I'm going to use my Sculpey uh, Gloss Glaze on Mr. Rabbit himself. And then when that's dry, I will cover it with that tin again and spray with my Americana acrylic finisher and mat and just go over everything to give it a good seal. And once that's dry, I'm going to let this dry overnight and I'll see you guys in the morning and I'll give you one final look at it finished. But I love it. I'm in love with it. It came out a thousand times better than I had imagined. And I hope you guys like it too. I hope you're inspired to try something like this yourselves. I know we all have a junk drawer. Definitely, definitely check out all the other artists in this collaboration. They're all amazing and wonderful. And there will be a link below as well as in the iCard above this video. So please check everyone out. Give them a thumbs up. Share the videos. And leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think. But I'll see you in the morning. And I'm, I'm not saying goodbye yet. So, okay, guys, here we are. It's finally done. I'm really, really, really happy with the way this turned out. The more I look at it, the more I fall in love with it. And I hope you guys have enjoyed watching me take this journey. <laughs> Definitely was a trip through the looking glass and down the rabbit hole. I had a blast. Please make sure you check out all the other artists that I'm going to list below. There's a playlist for all of the videos in this particular collaboration. And give me a thumbs up if you like this video. If you have not yet subscribed, I would love it if you did. Take care. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And have a good day. Go ask Alice. Bye-bye.